Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Hosh Nasi, and I could really go for a coffee right now. Whoa! A mini presso, a nano presso, and a dual espresso barista kit by Wakako. About two months ago, I purchased a mini presso off of Amazon, and it quickly became one of my go-to outdoor coffee solutions. I took this with me on many a little adventure. Took it to the poppy fields for Mother's Day when we went on a little picnic and I dazzled everybody with my espresso making machine. It makes a great little shot of espresso, not a traditional espresso shot, but good. From the Wakako website, it states that this produces or pulls an espresso shot at eight bar. And it's pretty good. Um, we'll talk about that in a little bit here, but what we're gonna do today is we're gonna compare the mini presso to its little brother, the new model, the Nano Presso. The Nano Presso came out, I believe this year, 2018, maybe a little bit before that, and it claims to produce an 18 bar shot of espresso. So a little bit better pressure when you're using this pump system that both of the two units have. And uh, I haven't had it for very long, I've had it for about two weeks now, and I've, I've enjoyed the shots, but I haven't done a taste test of comparing the two together. And that's what we're gonna to do today. So if you've seen any of the videos online, the process of making a shot of espresso is very simple with these devices. Um, basically, walking through the process, you're gonna fill up the coffee with the little coffee cup here on the top. That's on the top. And this is your micro filter uh, that's underneath it in the device itself. And you pump it and it extrudes through the device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up two shots. I'm going to pre-warm everything uh, beforehand, walking you through my process to do that. Basically, I pour some water in the cups. I add water to the top of the pump unit. I take the coffee cup, put that on top. That's a bit too full <laughs> because I don't want to burn myself. I unscrew the bottom. I put coffee in there, or water in there as well. The idea is that you're kind of like warming up the internals. And I'm going to do the same for the mini. Okay, take two. In my haste to try and do this as fast as possible to preheat everything, I misused the scoops. They should be like that. I believe I had that wrong. <laughs> and I got bad pulls. That's my fault, not the fault of the machines. So preheating's been done. The Coffee cups are empty. I'm going to refill the coffee cups. Make sure I get all the preheat water out so I'm not unfairly doing a comparison, all right? So we'll start this time with, yeah, with the Nano Presso. Cups match, very important. Level spoon, level scoop. Tap, 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 tap. And then give it a little tamp. A light tamp, just for uniformity. Looks good. Now, same thing. Let's get that out of the way. Same thing, mini. The mini cup has a taller and narrower um, coffee cup. And important to note as well, there's more metal pieces in the mini. The Nano has uh, more plastic pieces. I don't know if that equates to quality or reliability over time. Can't say, because I've only had it a couple of months for the mini and a couple of weeks for the Nano. Okay, they're loaded with coffee. Next step, water, hot boiling water. Try to get as close to the line as possible. And it is hot. Now these aren't professional espresso machines. So your uh, quantity of coffee and your water may vary. You could of course measure and weigh this out. You could do that. Let's get the pump started. And then wait 10 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds, time to wait. What that's doing is it's under pressure. The water is sitting on the coffee filter, sitting in the coffee, infusing the coffee, helping to start the process, and then we'll finish the pull after about 10 seconds or so, which is roughly now, okay? That was one pump, we'll call this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and we're done. Okay? Now again, you could have uh, measured this out and weighed it and known the precise point to stop. Right now, we just stopped when I kind of lost pressure in the machine. So, same thing with the mini here. Okay? 
or extruded. Now we're gonna wait the 10 seconds. I just realized this sweater I picked up off my office floor because it fell off my chair. My corgi slept on it. It's full of corgi hair. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. 1920 and we're losing pressure and it's gone okay so the shots obviously bit difference in the water um, I just went until it lost pressure like you would do if you're in the wild outdoors and that that was it right I just kind of went until the machine told me it's not gonna extrude any more coffee and that's when I stopped that's not the most precise way. I've mentioned this twice so I don't get flamed in the comments. But um, it's the way you do it unless you brought a scale, which I backpack. I'm not going to bring a scale with me. So we'll start with the, the Nano, which pulled a much larger shot. You can see that already. And uh, the Crema, hopefully you can see that, is pretty good. It's actually got a brown tinge to it. It doesn't look just like some kind of foam or infusion or whatever. I don't know how you fake crema. It looks like crema to me, so I don't know. I, I'm not a crema expert. I'm not an espresso expert, but I enjoy, I enjoy coffee in the wild. Let's try it. Okay, I am using the Lavazza coffee, um, espresso pre-ground just for consistency. This is supposed to be a five on their scale. Tastes like chocolate. It's like bitter chocolate. With a hint of kind of sweetness. Okay. The mini. Also a brown, nice looking crema. Don't taste a huge difference, to be honest with you. Um, and I don't see a huge difference. The crema is dis dissipating in the Nano, but I also pulled that earlier than the Nano. I feel like this is smoother, but taste is subjective. It's the same coffee, it's relatively the same machine. The uh, Nano is saying that it's an 18 bar, and the Wakako um, Mini is saying that it is an 8 bar. I didn't know what I expected to happen. I didn't know if I expected to happen like some kind of crazy, aha, that's the better shot. But they're still both good. Um, yeah, this is the Mini, and this is the Nano. I, I really can't pick a winner. This one may be a bit smoother. I don't know why that would be. Somebody in the comments can tell me. Um, I like the form factor of this one better. I like that the cup is on the bottom and it securely sits in place. These are my comparison notes now. Versus this one, kind of, the cup never sat on top and it was always loose. I'd always lose it in my bag. This nice little purchase. Um, the shorter but fatter form factor works a bit better because it can sit in a cup holder. It can sit in a bag a little bit better, particularly in my bag, which is a camera bag. Lenses and whatnot are a little bit more this shape than they are this shape. That's a small nit. I meh. The takedown of this one, even though it is mostly plastic, a bit better because you get the um, you get everything apart. I, I think this is called the micro filter and mini filter. If it's not, I apologize. Sorry, I don't know what that's all about, the throat thing. A couple of things as far as accessories go. I do have the barista kit, which um, I'll do a review on this whole thing later. The barista kit allows you to upgrade the Nano into a double shot of coffee. There's the larger water reservoir. Um, and it uses this little spacer to achieve a double shot. I'm pretty sure that the Mini has this option as well. So I can't tell you that you should get this one because this one doesn't have the ability to do a double shot. I will tell you though, having the ability to do a double shot is really, really nice because if you ever wanted a proper cafe type drink, um, a latte, a cappuccino, whatever, then you'd want the barista kit to pull that double shot. Or if you're making coffee for two, um, like I just did right here with two machines, you just have one machine, double pour, there goes the cup. Hey, maybe this one, there we go. I just ended up clicked. So I like them both. Um, I like the form factor and the looks of this one. I think it's a good upgrade. They have orange, red, and another color in this Signal series. It's like an emergency rescue coffee maker, which is awesome because it goes in my ham radio bag when I go outdoors and do 
ham radio operations in the wilderness. To me though, I prefer this one. Is it worth the $20 extra? I don't know, that's up for you to decide. Guys, there's a link in the description to these products if you'd like to go check them out on the website and learn a bit more, possibly some details I didn't leave in or, or I forgot. I am not a coffee expert, nor do I make coffee videos, so if you'd like to give me some tips and tricks or things that I missed or did wrong, please post in the comments. And hey, regardless, you should give me a thumbs up for just giving it a shot. Anyway, I like both of the Wakako units. I think they're good. I think they're nice to have in your kit if you want if you like espresso if you don't really like espresso then maybe this is not the entry drug to or the gateway drug to get you into it but they're both fun and enjoyable and they are a crowd pleaser when everybody wants or some people not a lot because i couldn't imagine making a ton of coffee with this thing uh when you're out in the field okay guys i'm hoshnasi ki6naz and i will talk to you later